in this video, we are going to learn what expected loss or expectation means. And then we are also going to formally define the induction of machine learning. Hi, my name is Chris and this is the final part of the series Formalizing the Learning Problem. Let's get into it. So in the first part of this series, we have discussed about the loss function, which simply computes the error from our prediction compared to the truth. So if this is our loss function, we write this as the expected loss or our expectation, where f is our learned function, x is the input, y is the output or the corresponding label to the x or the input, and then f of x, the output of our learned function, given an input x, which is just the y hat, is our prediction, and d is just the probability distribution. Expectation in its simplicity means average. If you can recall from our previous video where we talked about the probabilistic model, so if this is our probability distribution where we have a bunch of inputs each paired with its corresponding output. Expectation states that if we are going to draw a bunch of XY pairs independently, so we have to keep in mind that we are going or we are drawing a bunch of XY pairs independently and at random. And if you're going to compare our predictions each time, so, so if you're going to compute the error or the loss, uh, we get from, from each of our prediction, so this is the actual or the true label that is paired with y and this is our prediction f of x so each time we draw a an xy pair and we compute the error or the the loss using the loss function and if we combine or if we get the average loss from all the xy pairs we, we, we have drawn from the probability distribu distribution, then that average loss is our expected loss. More formally, if our probability distribution is discrete, so meaning the sample space is countable, then this expectation can be ex expanded as this. So, which is just exactly the weighted average loss over all xy pairs in, in D weighted by their probability, which is defined by the probability distribution itself. So this so taking this uh, like one at a time, so at a single time or moment that we get an x y pair, uh, this expression here is just the the error after after getting a or after drawing a single pair of x input and y output 
and then uh, this error is going to be multiplied by the weight which is just the probability of us getting that xy pair and this probability is defined by the probability distribution itself and then if you're going to add all those errors multiplied by its probability uh, getting the sum of that is just the weighted average loss uh, furthermore if our probability distribution is discrete and finite then we can derive the formula for the expected loss so if the probability distribution is discrete and finite let me just then the average loss is just the summation of losses from all xy pairs each multiplied by its weight or probability defined by the probability distribution so if we have a discrete and finite probability distribution that puts equal weights so also keep in mind that the probability distribution puts equal weights or probability equal weights or probability for all xy pairs then we can write the probability as 1 over n and then if we arrange or rearrange the terms we, we get this so there are two equivalent ways to think about expectations the the expectation of some function g is the weighted average value of g where the weights are given by the underlying probability distribution the second one is that uh, the expectation of some function g is your best guess of the value of g if you were to draw a single item from the underlying probability distribution so here are some reasons why machine learning could be difficult so we are given the training data and then we induce a function f that maps new inputs to predictions or labels the expected loss of f or the expected loss of our learned function should be as small as possible uh, so the expected loss of f over the probability distribution with respect to the loss function should be as small as possible and what that means is that the learned function should do well on future examples drawn from the same probability distribution the difficulty in minimizing our expected loss is that we don't know what d is we only get a sample of it which is our training data so with our learned function f we can compute for our training error uh, so our training error is just uh, so we have a training error training error so the training error is just the average average loss we get over our training data
and yes we can we can compute for that and yes we have access to the training error but what we really care about is minimizing our expected error so the expected error is our average loss to the whole probability distribution d and the training error is just the average loss of on the sample just a sample of the whole probability distribution so low training error does not guarantee low expected loss because we can simply obtain a zero training loss like this training loss or training error we can drive that to zero as small as possible like perfectly zero i mean we say perfect because the loss or the error is zero and we can do that by simply memorizing our training data so if we can memorize the training data like given a specific input by memorization we can provide the actual label corresponding to that input then we can achieve a training error of zero but memorization cannot do well in generalization hence hence why memorization does not measure learning the learned function f needs to generalize beyond the training data so if we just memorize we may do well or perfectly on our training data but as we encounter new inputs that we haven't encountered before we, by the use of memorization we are not going to be able to generalize well enough so putting it all together given a loss function so here we now have we are now going to provide a formal definition of the learning problem so given a loss function l and a sample d which is our training data from some unknown distribution you must compute a function f or the learned function f that has a low expected error over the probability distribution or the unknown distribution with respect to the loss function and yeah that's as simple as it may sound but with all of the difficulties we have mentioned from here basically that is just the formalization of the learning problem so i think that's it and thank you